Congratulations, Annie. It's all yours. <laughs> it's hard to believe. <laughs> Scott, that goes in the uh, downstairs bath. I don't know how we're ever going to be able to afford this, but it is perfect. It's only one thing missing. Get the dolly, will you? Okay. Remember that photo? Even Zonka's smiling. You sent it out as a Christmas card last year. Mm-hmm. Belongs right there, doesn't it? <laughs> Mom! Show to say I'm dragon breath! You don't believe me? Go ahead and sniff. Let's go. I hate that photo. That dress makes me look chunky. What dress doesn't? Mom! <laughs> so much for my perfect moment, huh? Hey, I said no skateboarding indoors! Whoa! Easy, Zonka. Easy. How about backing me up here? Come on, honey. It's moving day. Zonga, Zonga, you bad boy. Help. Please. I don't want anyone. You'll be fine, Annie. Call me if you need anything, OK? <sighs> Thank you. Annie, I just have to say that you were right. It feels just like home already. <laughs> What? 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 Oh, boy. Don't tell me it's only moving day. This paper towel. Honey, relax. Philip, we've been here 15 minutes, and already the hardwood is scraped, and the fireplace they're, is stained. They're kids, Annie. The dog got excited. Philip, this is supposed to be a fresh start, a new beginning. Just because we have a new house doesn't mean we're going to turn into a new family. Sometimes I wish we could. Does that make me a terrible person? Don't worry, it'll be our little secret. Zonka, you bad dog. Go give Mommy some love. <laughs> Very funny. Don't tell me Zonka's already made a new friend. What are you talking about? Come here, Zonka. Come here. Good boy. Who's my champ? That's right, Zonka is. What's wrong? Stop screwing around, Philip. I mean it. This isn't funny. If you bought another dog. Do you know what Mommy is talking about? Of course you don't. Neither do I. This is the wrong day for silly games. Perfection. Isn't that something we all yearn for? Annie McIntosh does. She wants the perfect house, the perfect family, the perfect life. But she's about to learn that perfection is an illusion, and a terrifying one at that, in the Twilight Zone. You're traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, of mind, a journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are only that of the imagination. You're entering the Twilight Zone. Satisfied? I don't understand. What happened to Zonka? I really wish you'd stop saying that. You're going to give him a complex. That is not my dog. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Look at his AKC papers. Look at his ribbons. His champion certificate. How much proof do you need? It's not my dog. Annie, you love this dog. Hell, there are days you think you like him better than me. Why are you pretending you don't recognize him? Go away, Philip. Get him away. Zonka, sit. Sean is stapling his posters to the wall. You're a traitor, you know that? And they shoot traitors. Leave me alone! Is that a new zit? I hate you! That's not my dog. Annie, listen to me very carefully. We've seen this before, and buying your first home can be very difficult. There's, there's escrow, inspections. 
It's a lot of stress. So what you're saying is I've owned a poodle for five years and never realized it. I've had clients forget their own names, what year it was, how many children they had. I knew this one guy who every day for three months drove back to his old apartment after work. What's that got to do with me? I've got two teenagers. I eat stress for breakfast. Which is why I'm not worried about you. Then stop looking so worried. I just want you to remember we ran the numbers. You are not in over your head. You got a great deal here. I told you buying a model home is the way to go. What are you really trying to say, Yasmin? I'm saying, relax. Everything is gonna be okay. This is your home. And that is your dog. What's that? French champagne. Talk about optimistic. I'm so sorry it's been such a tough day. I'm sorry if I freaked you out. Does that mean I can open up the champagne? Down, boy. <laughs> Amy, I just want to say, I know that I was reluctant to move, but I am so glad that you talked me into it. Now, if I could talk you into something, Just pretend he's not there. Syrup. You know I hate plain waffles. I'll go shopping today. Tess, I made you a special surprise for lunch. It better be egg salad. I should guess. Morning. Love you. <laughs> Who was that? Mom, cut it out. Tess, I asked you a question. Who is that boy? What's he doing in our house? Mom, come on. First it was Zonka, and now it's Sean. Sean? Wait, what are you talking about? That isn't Sean. Dad! Mom's acting weird again! Sean! Get down here, right? Mom? What's wrong? quite a scare. What happened? You took a little tumble. But you're gonna be okay. The paramedic said you might have a slight concussion. Sean, <sighs> Tess, where are they? Kids, your mom wants to see you. No. No. Those are not our children. Time for school, you two. You're late enough already. Bye, Dad. Bye, Mom. See you later. Sean and Tess. Philip. 
Don't you care? Our children are missing. Listen to me, Amy. Our kids are on their way to school. I've never seen those two before in my life. Don't you know your own children? Of course I do. You're confused. No, I'm not. You're the one that's confused. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with everybody? Annie, calm down. Oh, God. What if it happens to you? What if you vanish next? It's not going anywhere. How can I be sure? I don't want to lose you. You're not going to. Did you see him? Did you see Philip? He called me. He asked me to come speak with you. But did you see him? And he's downstairs. And? And he's very concerned about you. And you didn't notice anything different about him? I, I know this is hard for you to believe. Okay, but Philip is still Philip. I mean, just like Zonka, still Zonka. And the kids are still the kids. None of them have changed. Good. I am not going crazy. No one says you are. I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation. <laughs> You're right. There is. I changed them. You lost me. I remember telling Philip. I, I wished for the perfect family to go with all of this. And? My wish. It's come true. Yasmin, this is not funny. I'm sorry, it's, it, it's just... Oh. You trust me, Annie. I want to. Then come downstairs with me. But why? I want to show you something. Look at me, Annie. I'm still Yasmin, right? I haven't changed. Then come downstairs. Sofa was ten years old. The stereo. Philip wanted the stereo, but it was ten thousand dollars. I... Okay. Let's just pretend for a second that everything you've told me is true. Okay, that that this isn't your furniture and this isn't your family, and somehow everything's changed. Oh, Annie, don't you get it? Don't you see? I mean, any way you look at it, you got what you wanted. Honey, you've traded up. So. How's the new school? The campus looks very nice. I love the tennis courts. They have stadium seating and everything. <laughs> I met my new swim coach today. He won a bronze medal at the 88 Olympics. Well, it seems like you two are really going to love it here.
How's work, Dad? Well, you know that biotech company that I made an offer on? We closed the deal today. Cool. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Isn't that great, Mom? Yes. That's, that's great. So, Mom, um, is your head feeling any better? Hey, you remember that time that I got beaned in Little League? You played Little League. I guess I forgot. And you love me too, right? your family now. They love you. They need you. You're gonna have to try to make this work. Whatever it takes to make her better. I've already made some calls. Will she have to go away? Just for a little while. Don't worry. I'll be here. Honey, is that you? This is Yasmin. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message. Have a great day. Yasmin, if you're there, pick up. Yes, me, please. I don't know what to do. They're gonna send me away. Annie, where are you? God, they're coming. Mom? I was just looking at our picture, thinking how lucky I am. I have a wonderful family, a beautiful new home. It's perfect. Just like you.
be right there. I just finished upgrading my digital family game. Just a game? Or is it? How do we know we aren't all just characters in some computer game called life? And at any moment, each of us could be replaced by someone a little smarter, a little younger, a little more perfect. <laughs>